I am not dressed. I'm not prepared. I'm having a really rough time. My son is in the hospital. I'm watching Marf, and um, he's talking about smallpox. I was vaccinated for, for that back in the 70s. And he's talking about pandemics. I'm going to tell you something, folks. There's something far more nefarious going on. And I thought I was losing it, really, when I kind of figured out what was happening to me. You know, a lot of people suffer from depression. Okay, and I'm used to it. I've been down that road a lot of times. But I went through a particularly bad time between Thanksgiving and Christmas. And I spent a lot of time fighting my way up and out of it. And when I was out of it on the other side, you know, when, it, when I finally came, came out, you know, at the top of the hill, and I was not depressed, there was this thought that kept running through my head. It was a loop. It was something that I did that I was really ashamed of for a long time. And I kept pushing it back, and I made, you know, while I was in that depression, I'd made my peace with this situation. And I was okay with it. And, it, and it brought me out of my depression. But when I was out of it, this thought kept running around and around and around and around in my head. And I, I was able to look at it from a perspective that I couldn't look at it when I was in the depression. But what I discovered was that this thought wasn't coming from inside of me. It was coming from somewhere outside of me. It was being fed to my brain from somewhere else. It wasn't me. It was not my brain making me think this awful thought. It was designed to make me feel awful and hold me in that depressive place and maybe even suicide myself. You know, now my son is in the hospital and he was suicidal. And I have many, many friends who are feeling the same way. Even my dog is afraid to go outside by himself. I, I, like, things have changed. When I discovered that this thought was not coming from inside of my head, it really freaked me the fuck out. In a big fucking way. I didn't know what to think of it. I thought I'd finally fucking flip my lid. But you know what? I haven't flipped my lid. This is a part of... There's a community online called Targeted Individuals. I, I'm going to tell you now, this story goes way back with me. I'm writing it all down. I'm trying to put it in the most coherent form I can. I'm, this is about 5G. This is about mind control. The patents are there. The proof is there. When I discovered this thought was not coming from inside of me, I needed to know where it was coming from. And what I discovered is not pretty. It is technologically possible to feed your own bad thoughts back into your own brain. They're doing brain entrainment on our population. It's not just me. It's not just... <clears throat> it's just not the 37 wackos that you see on, on these videos talking about being targeted and what's happening to them. They're not crazy. You're just not noticing. This is not a mental condition. This is something that's being done to us. And it's being done through... You know, whatever kind of waves. I don't know what they're using. I don't know any of the technical aspect of it. But we're being fed things to our brains that are not natural to us. I'm not hiding anymore. I'm going to talk about this a lot from now on. I owe it to everybody. I owe it to myself. I owe it to the people around me that I see suffering. I owe it to all of you to look you in the eye. And tell you I see what's happening. Marf is on tonight and he's worried about smallpox. Well, hell. You know, a lot of shit's going to kill us. But they're trying to make us kill ourselves. They're trying to make us suicide. And that's not fucking fair. That's not human.
shit hit the fan. Okay, you were all not prepared for it to hit this way. You weren't prepared for it to come from inside you. But it is coming from inside you. Make no mistake. This is not a fantasy. This I'm not crazy. Look around. The patents are out there and they're hurting us. I see it. But I've found ways to fight it. I've tested my demons. You know, I've tested them. I'll tell you all about it. I made a tinfoil hat. Yeah, that was that was a that was a <laughs> proud moment in my life, let me tell you. But honestly, folks, there are a few things you can do to help yourself. But your creator is the one who's going to protect you. That's all I got to say for now.